Giovanni. I'm in a Komuto Neo Malikani, and I'll be your interview for today's um, documentary that we'll be shooting uh, about your brother. It's your brother, I believe. Uba was My brother, your brother. brother. Yes. So we'll be asking you a few questions about him and regarding the the picture that uh, you took of him prior to his passing somewhere like Ikaya. So we'll be asking you um, about the events. What was the occasion of that day when when you took that picture of him? Yeah, uh, it just happened. We were just relaxing with him, having fun, and then. Uh, you know, we just have a, a chat, not knowing the guy he was just planning something on his own. And then, uh, boom, the next morning he was gone. Okay. So where, where where was he born? Were you born in the in the same household, in the same family, or were you in different um, households? Of course, yes. We are born here in 126 Mapama. This is the initial house here above Masamo the late pastor uh, it was five of us myself Mawuti, my sister Mazwani, who Sylvester he was the third who is the it's five of us then after he has passed on we were left four of us oh, okay what kind of person was Mbab Sylvester well <laughs> He was somebody kind, loving, you know, he always had a sticky, uh, uh, what's called a magic stick on his mouth. He was a jolly somebody. I worked with him, he, he, we worked our business, we had a fleet of taxis here at home, that's one. Then uh, after the taxi war, we had to move to airport, then it was John Smart's airport. I worked there, and then I'm Tata, so I'm a seven, so I worked there for 10 years, he worked there for five years. He was just like that. So was there a transition between the kind of person he was when he was a child and the kind of person he became when he was an adult? Of course, yes. Uh, as you grow up, there are those changes that happen. He was, you know, that guy until Daba Nomduano Sposiso. Then he transformed himself. He was in charge of the taxi business. As I've said, we had, and then we continued after he uh, up my airport. Then it was John Smart's airport. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what would you do with him for fun? What kind of things would you do with him for fun? As I've said earlier, he was somewhere a jolly person. You know? <laughs> we'll talk. Even though we had some ups and downs with him. So, do you have any memory that is left of him that you could show us maybe where even the picture was taken or any um, aesthetic that was in the picture that is still um, around that you still carry as a family? Yeah, uh, so as I've said earlier, we had our side rooms. He was staying in one of them. And then uh, I, I do remember vividly when he was doing uh, the, the, the party for his first son, Spusisa. It was in one of the rooms. That's where the photo of shot was done. It was in one of the rooms. I can take you late in the room. Sylvester used to stay in this room, that was his uh, hiding place, and then uh, as I said, Unomfana uh, Ospusiso, Magayanza, he first left the Ospusiso, the Ospusiso is on the picture, and then there's the dead. If you can see this knife, that's when Ospusiso cut the cake. We still kept it, it's a treasure if you need it. I should think Uti, whenever I'm cutting the bread with this knife, my memory always goes to Sylvester. As this room, we have kept it, it's not for hire. That's it's like our guest room. Whenever the Mpumis, they come, they use this room. 
What is one word that he liked using quite often? Just the phrase. The phrase that he liked. Eputi. <laughs> not knowing the meaning of it, but no, nah, he was not like Ubegang to Sela, but it was like Hambagin. About Hambagin, it was just joyful. So what was the name of the school and what did it change to right now? What is the name of the school in 1925? Uh, it was Samson, Samson Primary School. And now it has changed to? To, uh, I'm not sure, but it's now a comprehensive school. Oh. It's low. 